This video is sponsored by The Great Courses Plus. I've always been really interested in powder coating and thought I would get set up here in the barn to do small parts. I bought a powder coating gun and a sample pack of different colors to get started with. There are quite a few advantages powder coating has over spray painting. I think the biggest is the durability of the finished coat and how well it'll hold up over time. The biggest disadvantage though, and I think the biggest hurdle getting into powder coating, is parts have to be baked after the powder is applied. I had an old kitchen oven I was ready to dedicate to this, and the first thing I wanted to do was to make a heavier rack to support the weight of the metal pieces. I wanted lots of loops to hang clips on from the underside. Most things you hang to powder coat. I got the oven moved to the back of the barn and plugged into my welder outlet. Something I've been keeping an eye out for for a while now is a used sandblasting cabinet, and I recently lucked out. I think it's something I'll use a lot, working with old rusty parts here on the farm. I bought some new parts to fix it up a little bit. The gloves definitely needed to be replaced. I've got tough hands, but they aren't quite tough enough for these. While I was replacing the gloves, I thought I'd go ahead and replace the rings they attach to as well. These ones are wider and should be more comfortable to rest your arms on while you're sandblasting. And they'll seal up a lot better too. I just needed to widen the openings for them a little bit. I also decided to replace the gun. It was a little worn out and was also trigger operated, which wasn't much fun to hold down if you're sandblasting very long. The foot pedal valve was a big improvement. And lastly, I installed some new LED lights on the inside of the blast cabinet, which really helped you see a lot better what you were working on. With the oven ready and the sandblasting cabinet fixed up, all I needed now was something to powder coat. I stripped some wire to use as hanging clips and transferred everything over to the oven to off gas at 450 degrees for 30 minutes. And then it was out of the frying pan and into the fire for all the metal pieces as I transferred it all to the blasting cabinet.
It was really satisfying cleaning the metal up and did a much better job than I could have ever done with just grinders and solvents. With all the parts off-gassed and sandblasted, I think I'm ready to try my hand at some powder coating. But before I get to that, I want to tell you about the sponsor of this video, The Great Courses Plus. The Great Courses Plus is an amazing resource that lets you explore new and interesting subjects in all kinds of different things, like hobbies, history, food, mathematics, philosophy, and religion. The Great Courses Plus is an on-demand video streaming service with top-notch lectures and courses from top professors from the Ivy League and other great universities globally, and experts from places like the National Geographic, the Smithsonian, and the Culinary Institute of America. It's amazing how many different subjects The Great Courses Plus offers. A couple classes I really enjoyed in particular were mind-bending math, riddles and paradoxes, which covered subjects like infinity and probability, and the Celtic world, which has been great because I always regretted not having taken a European history course in high school or college. Great Courses Plus is giving viewers a free trial. Visit thegreatcoursesplus.com slash rainfallprojects or click on the link in the description below to start your free trial today. I'd really like to thank The Great Courses Plus for sponsoring this video, and I hope you'll check them out. The powder coating gun uses an electrical charge to attract the powder to the metal. I attached the ground clamp and ran the air line through the pressure regulator. The gun needs really low PSI. 5 to 10 is recommended. When you press the button that charges the gun, you can actually hear the electrical charge when the gun gets close to the metal. I was really surprised how quickly it coated the metal with a nice coat of yellow. I carefully transferred it over to the oven rack. And here's my absolute favorite thing about powder coating, how easy the cleanup is. You just blow the gun off and sweep up whatever powder is on the floor and you're done. It's excited to try out the other colors. Another super cool thing about powder coating is that if you happen to mess up for some reason, not that I ever would of course, but all you have to do is blow the piece off and start again. Definitely can't do that with paint. I also bought some clear powder, which I thought I might use if I was wanting to keep something the bare metal look. It goes on white and bakes clear. But it kind of defeats the purpose of playing clear over the sandblasted piece, since sandblasting makes it white. So I wanted to try it on a small bracket that wasn't sandblasted as well. Just as a test piece. I preheated the oven to 400 degrees and carefully slid the rack in. The powder would smudge very easily at this point if I wasn't careful and accidentally bumped them.
using an IR thermometer, I waited until the parts were up to the same temperature as the oven and then started the 20 minute timer. 20 minutes later, the parts are done baking and I let them cool. It's pretty cool how they're so quickly durable and ready to handle once they've come out of the oven. My process definitely needs a little bit of refinement, but I was happy with how this first batch came out. It was a lot easier and I had better results than I had honestly expected to for the very first go. A couple areas I didn't quite get enough powder on, and my wire clips left some marks in a couple places as well. The best part was that I had fun doing it. Man, I hate painting so much with all the prep and cleanup you have to do. So if powder coating is a process that I even enjoy somewhat, that's a huge victory in my book. The biggest restriction, of course, is going to be the small size of the oven I have. But who knows, if this is something I keep up with and end up using often, maybe I'll build a larger one one day. As it is, I was having fun and looking for anything in the barn at this point laying around that I could powder coat. 